Welcome back to another very exciting episode of Getting Dirty with Coach Dalton. I am Coach Dalton. And I'm Graham. Hope that you're ready to get dirty. This month on Getting Dirty with Coach Dalton, Graham and I are going to be working with you on the absolute most important aspect of slapping, and that's your footwork. We want to make sure that when you make contact with the ball, you are going to be very well balanced. You're going to feel some power below you like you're an athlete. That's what makes you a slapper is that athletic ability. So we're going to really work on that. First thing that we're going to do, which is going to seem kind of strange, is start out in the position that we actually want to make contact with the ball in. So I'm going to have Graham pretend like she's taking a lead right at that short stop. So get your feet in the batter's box like you're taking that lead towards the short stop with your other leg. Okay, there we go. Okay, This is the position at contact she's going to be in. One of the things we're going to make sure is that this right shoulder is in here towards that left toe. So her chest is still squared up to the plate, but her feet are nice and balanced below her. Okay, So once we've got that position and she knows she feels pretty comfortable from here, you can pick your hands up here make sure you feel good. Okay, We're going to start working backwards a little bit. So I'm just going to have you take those that left foot, bring it right back. Very good. One, and bring it right back to where you were. Okay. Okay. One, two. One, two. Now, she's just going to do that a few more times. Make sure you're comfortable. Get really comfortable with that rhythmic step. Okay. Good. Notice each time she does that, she's making sure she turns that shoulder down in. Now, we're going to go ahead and add an extra step to that. So, we're going to bring that foot forward. Now, bring it back here. Now, go ahead and bring your right foot forward. Now take your right foot back and get back into there. Now come on back. Good. Go again. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and count that out loud. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're just going to keep practicing that. Very good. Once we've got that basic mechanics, we're going to start doing that with a little bit more speed because that's what this is after all. It's a game of speed. We're trying to get in a foot race. So I'm going to have her do that footwork, and she's going to continue on out of the box. Okay. Okay, good girl. Come on back. Slide and go. Great job. Come on back. Remember, keep that right shoulder down in. Pretend like we're always making contact. Great job. Come on back. Good girl. Once you've got that basic footwork down and you've practiced that, I want to make sure that you understand the next basic principle of slapping. That is that you have got to be able to keep your eye on the ball and not look where you're going. It's, a, it's our human instinct to look where it is that we're running. And what I see more often than not is girls that are trying to slap know that they're trying to run to first and they turn around and pull their head to first right away. So what I like to have my slappers do and what I hope you're going to practice is making sure that you don't pull your head towards first base. It's going to be there. You don't have to worry about tree trunks or trees or light poles or anything being out here in the middle of the field. You can keep your eye on the ball. Make sure that you make contact. The ball's going to go all the way down to the ground before you ever look. So one of the things we, we like to work on is imagine that we're running out on that line. We're going to stay on a line and I'm going to have Graham make sure she turns back into that line, not pull up the first baseline. So I'm going to have you do, Graham, is just go ahead and practice what we just did. Slide out of that box nice and rhythmically. Make sure that you stay on that line. Great job. Great job. By this point, once you start practicing that, you should get really comfortable doing that. And you know, as long as you stay on that line, you're not going to be vulnerable to that low outside stuff. You're not pulling your head off. You're going to see your bat make contact. Then you get in the games and all this pressure's going on um, and excitement. It'd be nice if you could remember about that line. The beautiful thing is you'll have your bat with you in a game. You can go ahead and extend that batter's box line right out at that pitcher so that you've got yourself a target. Now come back here. Imagine that you're slapping. Keep those hands back. We're not actually going to go at the ball. Just go ahead and take your footwork and stay on that line. Okay, great job. Let's try that one more time. Great job. Come on back. Okay. Again, the purpose of this is just to give yourself that target. Make it nice and relaxed for yourself in the game the way that you've practiced it. If you can see that line, you know you've done this a million times. There's nothing to be afraid of. 
For a slapper, the whole purpose of this is to have soft hands and fast feet. We want to force that defense into positions they're not comfortable. We want to get into a foot race with them. They have to pick it up, bend down, get the ball, turn, find the first baseman, and make the throw. In order to do that, we have to really have soft hands. The best practice for that and the practice to make sure that you're keeping your head down and that shoulder in is to use the most important tool you have as a ball player. That's your glove. I'm going to toss the ball to Graham just like she was going to be slapping, but instead of actually slapping, she's going to catch it. I want her to see the bat onto the ball and down into the ground. So what I'm going to have her do is a drill where she's going to catch it, set it down in this bucket up here. So she's not going to take her eyes and be trying to pull off. She's got to make sure she sees it. She's got to find the bucket. And she's got to drop the ball right in the bucket. We ready to go, kiddo? Great work. Now, Graham happens to be a natural lefty, so that works out real well for you. Let me get you out of my batter's box here. A right hand, a natural right-handed slapper will do the same thing. She's just going to use that left hand instead. Now, as she's going to have this instinct to try to pull, so coach, you're going to have to make sure she keeps that shoulder down in, or try to get her to just turn her glove around and make the catch like a left-hander like Graham did to where that shoulder is going to stay in there. So it works out real good for natural lefties because we're reinforcing that shoulder staying down in and not pulling away. But even for others, they can make sure that they've got this and maybe use that hand to cover it up or something when they make that catch. Whatever you got to do to be thinking, catch it, not hit it hard. This is a soft bunt and make sure that their eyes are still in the ground looking it into the bucket.